Muhammad uh, Gay in there, and he uh, he was terrific tonight. So it's it hard to guard. We're really proud of our team. We hung in there and uh, made the plays last few minutes to, to win the game. It was back and forth, a uh, very unusual game. We were down early, came back, took the lead. They retook it, and uh, then we finished the game. So uh, our, our players stepped up. Drew, Drew and Boogie stepped up, scoring, and Kobe hit that big three. Kobe stole that ball when we double teamed, and he, he read the cutter. That was an incredible steal. Just his anticipation, that's why he's, to me, he's the best defensive player in the, in the Pac-12. To see that cut happen and then go and steal the ball uh, was the, one of the, probably the biggest play of the game. And then he comes out and hits that three when we, we reverse the ball to him. And that was great team basketball. So this is a team win. Uh, we missed Josh Morgan, obviously. He had started out with five points and you know, only played five minutes. Anytime you're playing a big guy like we, we were, uh, it was, we've had it going. And you, you'd like to have your, uh, your starting center in there. And, and uh, so we hope Josh is OK. Andy, uh, two questions. First, um, Boogie was five for six from three and did, did make his twos. He had some games like that last year. Is that is that just something to live with? Well, he was five for nine from the three. Is that what you, that, do you mean? Um, he made five threes. Right, right. So, so, but he was six of thir 15 overall. So he was what was one for six from a two point line. I mean, he got he had clean looks out. We ran that uh, uh, side ball screen play and uh, Gay wasn't leaving Drew and, and Boogie had a wide open eight footer and he just short armed it. I don't know which. I don't know what you want me to say about that. You know, the leading scorer at 31 and 23, you, know, you got to make that. You, know, you can't, you can't come up short on that one. So he had some clean looks. You just missed him. Uh, but he uh, uh, he played very hard. He played played a lot of minutes. Four assists, one turnover, five rebounds, and drew at four assists, no turnovers, go along with all his points. In, in the first half, Gabe was having a lot of success in that two-man game that they were running. Was that maybe a result? Because of how successful they were shooting the outside ball the last time you guys played? Well, there's a few ways to guard ball screens or dribble handoffs. They run a lot of uh, uh, tight handoffs and ball screens. You can hard hedge or you can drop coverage and let your big guy protect the rim. Uh, but they, they, we had to get out of the drop coverage. If you drop coverage, you're, you're two on two with a ball handling the big guy and you, you can get out to the shooters. Uh, but that wasn't working too well because they were attacking us at the rim. And so we, we started hard hedging. Uh, more uh, like we did the last couple games, and uh, that seemed to work. Uh, so we did change up our ball screen coverage with Jess. You mentioned that you know how much you guys missed Josh and how much Gay was a factor. What can you say about the way Vince played in a career high 22 minutes, team high plus 13? Yeah, Vince was terrific. He played very hard. He's, he's, he's starting to get a good feel, good rhythm. You know, it's just so hard for him to go through what he did and then not play. Not forget about the medical issue. Talking about the lack of playing, uh, he had no training camp, no summer basketball, had no fall, no no scrimmages. <laughs> he just we throw him into Pac-12 play in the middle of the season, and, and it takes a little bit to adjust. So I thought he was great defensively, had four big blocks, and offensively he'll come around. You know, he just uh, uh, right now we just seem to defend and rebound and uh, and finish around the rim. How difficult did that make just managing the rotation in that front court, not having Josh? Well, not having Josh is one of the best defensive big guys in the country. And uh, he uh, not having him in there to be able to rotate. Uh, I thought Johnny played hard. Yersov came in. Harry came in. Uh, but when you're playing a, a special talent like Muhammad Gay, you know it's you, you need a, a bigger guy in there sometimes. And uh, he, he was he had a, he had a special night offensively. And um, I thought our, our down the last couple minutes, Vince did a great job of preventing him. This team gives up a lot of scoring runs, but also goes on a lot of scoring runs. Why do you think that is? Well, when you're in league play, anything can happen. And uh, it's, it's hard to explain. Uh, we're streaky, we're very, like you said, we, with the runs. We, we are very streaky offensively at times, but we made nine threes tonight. I think we made 10 uh, last Thursday against UCLA. We're, we're starting to shoot the ball better. We're starting to get cleaner looks. And we're starting to drive it much more and, uh, and make plays for our teammates. Great to say Vince is still on a minutes restriction. How do you manage that with the possibility that you might need him a little bit more going forward? Well, his health is the first, uh, you know, so we don't, we don't mess around uh, with that. Uh, we, 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 we try to manage it our best we can. We, we um, measure his heart rate on the side at live time. And, and then we also measure how many times he runs, you know, if he's in, in a uh, flurry where there's no dead ball or no timeout, and he, he, got a, he runs up and down the court four straight times. That's, that's a lot of running right away. So we try to do our best to uh, get him uh, the breaks when we can. And our, our, uh, our other, Josh is out with an ankle injury for a while. The other guys on the bench have to step up.
is the uh, most minutes he's played since coming back, yeah. uh, obviously because of the Morgan injury. And how encouraging is it just in the longest you've played him, one of his most impactful plays, the two blocks coming at the very end? Yeah, that I uh, said, uh, he, he, uh, he had four fouls and we took him out and then with 424 left, put him back in. And we were going to ride with him to see if uh, he could not commit the foul. And I thought he played great defense, played with his feet, and, and then he was able to challenge late and get those two big blocks. You mentioned that you feel Kobe's the best defender in the conference. Where do you feel like you've seen him take that big jump from freshman to sophomore year? Well, Kobe's becoming an all-around player. Uh, he made it that big three tonight, and according to him, that's what he does now. He's a three-point specialist. <laughs> so he, uh, he does it all. Uh, but he had three assists, no turnovers. He had, he had that big steal. I think he's been averaging uh, two steals a game. Uh, but he gets a lot of deflections. And he's a good – he just – he knows all the rotations on defense. He can guard big guys. He guards small players, quicker players. And he uses his size and length very well. But his anticipation, like that steal he had when, when he beat the cutter to the cut, because he knew that guy was cutting, and, he, and, he, and when we doubled, he knew the ball, the, the, the passer was going to throw that pass, and he beat the guy there and stole the ball. Yeah, that, that's just a, that, that, that IQ and, and anticipation and feel for the game, it, it's, you, you don't coach that. that. That's what Kobe's developed by playing so long, and, and, and it's, it's very much like the Anthony Melton that we had here, who is one of the best uh, steals guy in the NBA right now playing for the Philadelphia 76ers. DeAnthony had that ability. Jordan McLaughlin had it too where they just anticipate and they know where the ball's going before it gets there. And uh, they get a lot of deflections, a lot of steals. Coach, um, after the UCLA game, you said your team is really improving. What areas are they improving in? Well, offensively, we're much more efficient. Uh, defensively, we, we, we're still number one in the nation, two-point field goal percent defense. And last year, we were second. The year before, we were third. The year before that, we were seventh. So our two-point defense is a staple for this program. And our guys have bought into that. Uh, the three-point defense, uh, uh, I thought tonight we, we did a good job of getting to, getting to their shooters. They got that one late. On, uh, we, had, we had our hands on the ball twice in the same possession and couldn't get an offense rebound or loose ball, and, and they kicked it out and made a three. Well, it's hard to guard that because everybody is going for a loose ball. And, and so uh, we've improved offensively. Uh, if you watch this early in the season, but Kobe and Reese and these guys and Trey White and, and, and Josh, and all, other than Drew and Boogie, we had no one coming – no one with any big game experience that was relied upon. Kobe played two minutes a game last year. <laughs> so we start the season, we, we were not very good. And, uh, and, and Drew and Boogie were a little streaky. And then once we were able to get some experience, we relied on our defense to keep us in games. And then we've become a better offensive team now. Andrew, can you talk about the seven turnovers? It seems like when you guys keep me under 10, you guys are usually successful. Well, that sends a pretty good number to, you know, I think the average is probably 12. So we only had seven tonight, 14 assists. We have seven blocks and five steals. So when we're sharing the ball and making play, that's why I said we're, we're, we're getting better at making quicker decisions and, and either passing it right away or driving and kicking. And I think that helps your, your team offense. It also helps your assist total. Uh, now, we do run a lot of isolations for Drew and Boogie, um, what, what they're called your best offensive players for a reason. And we did that tonight. We, we tried to get the, the mismatches on some of their uh, defenders we thought we could take advantage of and at least create, create some space and, and get in the lane and make plays. And Drew and Boogie did a really good job of just passing at the right time when they didn't have a shot. Yeah. Against Arizona State, you, the, the team kind of had a little bit of a meltdown. Against UCLA, they had a great second half. Tonight, they were in a close game down the end. Do you think they learned their lesson in that game down in Tempe? No. I mean, we were up 24. So according, <laughs> according to them, we were never going to lose it. <laughs> Do you have any update on Josh's health? Was it an ankle? Uh, it's an ankle injury. Yeah, the, the, the last four minutes of the Arizona State game, I, I was embarrassed to be the head coach at that point. I just wanted to go hide somewhere. But you know, when you get a road win, you win by eight on the road at Arizona State, that's pretty good. Same guys that got us a 24-point lead were the same guys. Drew, Drew turned the ball over three straight times. What, am I going to take him out? You know, Reese turned it over. Trey turned it over. Boogie turned it. Well, you threw that lob. Like, what, am I going to take him out? No, I'm, not, I'm riding these guys. They, they got the lead, and uh, they have to finish games. And, and so that, that was just a lack of uh, that was just a lack of uh, mental toughness uh, right there. They, they they relaxed being up so big in that Arizona State game. And, and, and give Arizona State credit; <laughs> they play very hard, and they're all they fly all over the place. And they're trapping, and, and uh, so uh, other than that, to get that big lead, we played outstanding offensive basketball the whole night, and, and uh, we continued that here the last couple of games. Last question. Uh, Andy, um, 
Kobe tonight didn't score until that three with I don't know three or four minutes to go. Um, does it work playing somebody 30 minutes who is a tremendous defensive player but may not score much? I mean, is that well, his ankle, uh, he sprained his ankle, and so I knew he wasn't 100 percent offensively. Uh, but he, he, uh, I, I didn't think he played 29 minutes, and honestly, but he, uh, he was great. Uh, he had six rebounds, three assists, no turnovers, one steal, and you know, uh, he doesn't. He, he can go out. He had double figures last game. I don't care if, if Kobe scores a point. He helps you win. He just helps you win in so many areas. Now, do we need a guy to you know to play 30 minutes? Of course, he has to score for us eventually. But I thought he was great. Uh, UCLA down the stretch, man, all those free throws. You know, your pressure free throw guy. And then he made that big three tonight. So, so he's he has stepped up, especially in the last few minutes of these big games when it's been close in the last month and a half of the season. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.